right, today I am going to try to do a three cup flip cup. I am using the pouring medium and the same colors that Julie Cutts used in her um, absolutely gorgeous painting. So I don't expect to have those kind of results, but I'm hoping it'll be okay. The pouring medium is 60, 30, 10. 60% glue all, 30% water, 10% Floetrol. I have to tell you, it required way too much math on my part to figure out how to get enough for this container, but I think I did it. Um, the paint is 50% paint, 50% pouring mixture. So, which is more paint than I think I've ever used on a painting. Usually I, I use Floetrol and I do one part uh, paint and three parts flow troll. But today I'm going to try it exactly the way Julie did it and we're going to cross our fingers. I'm going to use some coconut oil. I've already mixed up my paints. I've got the hot pink, light pink, the turquoise, the light purple, dark purple, and white. I'm going to put two drops of the coconut, Miracle Coconut Oil, which has the dimethicone in it, which is what helps with the cells in each. So maybe three. One, two, three, one. All right. This is math that I can do. <laughs> Counting to three. There we go. It's not real precise. Now, did not put any in the white, only put it in the colors. Julie actually stirs hers in quite a bit. Um, Previously, I had uh, stirred it in just a couple of little times, but this is not, there's not as much pouring, I mean pouring, tilting on these paintings as in many flip cups. So I'm just going to do it exactly like Julie did it, or as much as I can approximate it. I will tell you that some, because I use different types of paints, this one is still thick. Some of the paint is much thicker than others. And I had to add a few drops of water. Like this one still needs a little water. It's considerably thicker than the other paints. So I'm gonna add a little to that, stir it up, which will really stir that coconut oil in. There, that looks much better. And it's been sitting a minute or two because I mixed it had to stop, go put away groceries, and then come back so it's been sitting. So there's no, you don't pour white on here, like it, it's just a dry canvas. I know a lot of the flip cup pours, you put white down first, but there's a lot of paint here for this canvas. This is a 10 by 20, and it, this is a trial run for a pour that I'm gonna do on Friday um, with the participants of the Ark of Katie. I'm so excited, I can't wait for that. But that one is going to be on a 12 by 36. It's going to be considerably bigger. But I thought this would let me try out the pouring medium. Try out the 50-50 paint pouring medium mix. And then see what it's going to look like. If it comes out really awful, then we're going to go back to square one and try something else. So I am going to now put my colors in. Um, just a little bit of each starting with the white. Take that out for right now. I don't like having my stir sticks in when I pour, when I do this. And I'll put some in in a minute. So I'll just layer a little white in there. And this is, this is not a sandwich pour where you just start with white and end with white. This is, I'm just putting, layering the colors in. If you have never seen any of Julie Cutts' um, paintings, you really, really should Google her. She is in Australia and has um, a Facebook page also. Um, I'd have to look up the name of it to be precise, but I think it's Australian Acrylic 
pouring. If you Google Julie Cuts, you'll get it. Uh, it's definitely worth checking out. The people who um, are on there are posting all kinds of amazing work. So we're just gonna layer this, layer by layer. I have a feeling Julie's paint was a little thicker than mine. When she poured her layers on, they stayed nicely on top. Mine are not doing that. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna be one problem already. I could tilt it maybe and get that, but we're just gonna go with what we've got for right now. I love the color combination. And yeah, I'm making a mess, but that's okay. It'll all get covered up. And back to white. On the, when I do the 12 by 36, I think I will either do six or seven flip cups. There will be about five participants um, working with me. We're gonna, we're gonna do two paintings. This one will be this flip cup and the other will be a, a swipe so that it looks kind of like a beach swipe. Um, and there will be five participants working on each painting. So I thought if we do at least six cups, that gives me a cup so I can demonstrate. Get my stick now. And scrape this, hopefully without dropping it and spilling it in there. Get out all our paint. Don't think I'm going in the exact same cup uh, order, but that with each layer. But I guess that's okay. Each cup is in the same order, and that's probably what matters. Get the last little bit out here. have a little bit left over. I might can scrape them together and try a uh, to finish off a couple of rocks that I need to re-pour. We'll see what happens. It's fun to have multiple projects going at a time. That way any leftover paint I have I can just use on another project. blue, turquoisey blue. See, it doesn't sit on top at all, but it, I'm just going to say it's going to be fine. We're going to go with it's going to be fine. I'm going to have plenty of paint, I'm sure I, I feel, to cover this canvas and have some run off because this will make gorgeous jewelry on the canvas that runs off. Okay, we're down to the pink. And then we'll put a little white on top and then we will call it a day with the pour cups. All right, now comes the moment of truth. Flipping these crazy cups. I have to stand up to do this. Can I do it sitting down? Whew. That was
was lucky. Okay. And there we go. Now let him just sit. Ooh, let him just sit a minute. Let the white go through. Got to take my rings off over there. I did that now. So they just really need to sit a minute. Um, let the all the paint trickle through. I already see some good cells on the part that spilled out over here. So that makes me happy. I'm gonna get at least some good cells out of this. I was a little worried. Maybe the, some of my paint was too thin. All right, I'm gonna scoot these back. My coconut oil back. Whoops. Over. Let's stand it back up. There we go. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. I have way enough paint for this canvas. Did not need to be worried in the least. What I think I do want to do, I've got my heat gun. Oh, look at those cells pop out when you put the heat gun on it. Look at that. Right in there. Now I'm just going to go a little bit this way. I need to get this corner. That was kind of fast. It's, I think, a little thin, the paint. Get that corner down there. And there's a lot of paint on the canvas. Wow. But the cells look really good. And really, what I'm looking for is that once I'm finished and I get it the way I want it, and then I, I set it to dry, that it actually stays the way I've left it. That's, that's the biggest problem that I have is that I'll get something, I love it, and I put it down and then it just doesn't look at all good. Hmm. Got some caterpillars. A lot of people like caterpillars. I'm not sure how I feel about caterpillars. See the caterpillars right in there? All right, well, let me get this corner. The colors look good. It's not muddy. The colors are real pretty. You've got all the vibrant colors, the pinks, the purples, the turquoises. It's a little stretched in here, which I don't like so much. Uh, but um, I do like it. I do like the way the colors came out. And I like how it's sitting. It's tend to, it's not running everywhere right now. I don't see a lot, you know, it's not continuing to spread. It's just kind of sitting where it is. I think I might get the blow the heat gun. A lot of people use a torch. I bought a torch. I tried it. I wasn't a big fan. I'm just gonna see what happens if I just yeah, look. Just right in there, just to get. to get a little more interest just not all over I don't want a whole bunch of bubbles all over a whole bunch of cells but I do think it looks pretty to have just a band you know of cells of bubbles I think that looks really cool just 
get my edges here where there were some drips. You don't need to have, you don't want to have big blobs hanging off the edges of your canvas when it dries. I think when I try this again, assuming everything, assuming it dries the way I'm hoping it's going to dry, I think that I will um, try for a little bit thicker paint. I think some of mine was a little thin, and I think if it were a little thicker, I'd be able to stretch it, um, keep more of the paint on the canvas, do the edges more slowly, and not lose so much paint and not have that way stretched out look that you have in a couple of places. Not a big fan of the caterpillars. Not my favorite thing. I know some people really like them. <laughs> There's another one. Kind of funny, but um, I'm not a big fan of them. But anyway, I am happy with this. And I think that the participants at the ARC will be really excited if they do a pour that looks like this. So, awesome.